This is Eric Posable with Body Morph Pros. I'm here with NPC uh, Bikini Class D, Corinne Brown. Corinne, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Uh, good. It's been a long weekend, but I've gotten to eat, so I shouldn't oh. be complaining with you because you've been cutting water and not wow. eating and stuff. Not much. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I know we just kind of got done with prejudging a little while ago, getting ready for the night show. Yep. First call outs in that figure. In that, why do I keep wanting to call you figure? I don't know. Uh, clearly, you weren't in figure. <laughs> uh, in the bikini class, uh, huge classes, mm -hmm. tons of really good girls. Yeah. Uh, how are you feeling right now? I feel really good. I did Bikini D and uh, Masters as well, so first call. Oh, I, both. Well, even better, yeah. so double the opportunities, right? Yeah. So Bikini, they're giving away just the one pro card in the open, right? Yes. Okay, because I know physique, men's physique, they were doing two, so oh, there was some that. confusion with some of the girls when yeah. we were coming to talk to them, so. Yep, just first. Um, so let's talk a little bit about your road to getting here. How long have you been competing? Um, I started in 2009. Um, I did figure, actually, so <laughs> maybe that's why. Um, I did figure for three years and then I switched to bikini, so I've been doing bikini since then. What made you make the switch? Um, figure was a little, well, hard for me to put on the sides. I'm, I'm very narrow, so I did well and I went to nationals in 2010 and then just realized I can't get that big. And so. you prefer the bikini to Yeah, the it's just more natural for me, for my body type, so um, I kind of like being this size and maintaining it better. So. Now, is this your first national show as a bikini competitor? Nope, third. third? I did wow. um, Chicago, and then I did USA's as okay. well. How'd you do at the USA's? Uh, 15th. Okay, so. so another tough show, though. Yeah. And then, yeah. so what did you do between the USA's to now? Because there's only you know, a handful of weeks. Um, Jumping from 15th to first call, that's a huge difference. I just kept training my butt off. <laughs> <laughs> not, not actually training your butt off. We actually put butt on. But yeah, we trained. I, I worked really, really hard. I just kept going. I didn't take any time off. I just went. I just went for it. So I've been working really hard. I leaned out a lot more. So. And you do, so what was the process like with the macros and the cardio and all that? Um, I'm kind of funny. I, I don't count my macros. I have no idea how many calories I eat a day. I eat when I'm hungry and I just, I train myself and I just, I just kind of go so with no coach, no nothing, huh? No, nope, I just do it. Awesome. Crazy. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're breaking the mold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I, I think it's great that someone, yeah. that you know your body, mm -hmm. you listen to your body and it yeah. works. Well, and you're after doing, doing figure, I just, I, I did all of that. I counted everything and I ate every two or three hours and I really messed up my body. And so taking it this way, I've just learned to just kind of listen to my body and just go with it. So. And obviously it's working yeah. for you. Yeah. Um, now are you guys going to try to stick around and enjoy a little bit of the city or are we heading right back after this? We got to go home tomorrow night, but we got kids at home. But that was going to be my next <laughs> question. That was going to be my next question. I know you mentioned figure, so, uh, uh, master, so I was going to why do I keep wanting to say figure? Why do I, I just wanted to push this figure? Um, I turned 35 on the 26th of August, so. So you snuck in by the hair on your yeah, chinny chin chin. and my number is 826. This show. It's like an omen. I know, right? It's so, pretty crazy. It's kind of crazy. But um, I have two kids. They're they'll be fourteen and eleven in o October. So that's ridiculous. Yeah. That you have kids that old. You don't look like you well, should have kids. That you. you look like you should be a child yourself. Oh, well, um, so let me ask you: how, how do the kids like mom doing this? Are they supportive? Yeah, they think I'm pretty cool. I think. <laughs> now, are they boys, girls? I have one of each. My son's older. He's okay. a little more embarrassed by me, I think. He's like, Mom. Is he embarrassed because all the kids in the neighborhood are like, dude, your mom is in a bikini? Uh, probably. <laughs> my daughter thinks it's cool. Though. Your husband's nodding his head over there. <laughs> yeah, but my Is that why you're, he doesn't have any work parties at the house either? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it doesn't need all the dudes at work coming over to see us. Well. Hey, why don't we come over and, uh, I don't know, do anything. We'll just sit on the couch. Have your wife just walk around. Yeah, right. <laughs> so, well, obviously, you've got a great support system. Your husband's here. Mm -hmm. um, so I assume that your husband is wearing a ring, and it's either your husband or someone yes, else's husband. That's my husband. He supports me 100%. I wouldn't be able to do it if he didn't, so I'm lucky. A plus lot of plus the kids at home. Yes, and my kids are awesome. They're great support. So. Uh, now, do they come to the show? I, obviously, they're not here just because I'm sure traveling is a pain. Been. They've I've, never been to one of your shows? No, I I kind of sheltered them that way, but someday, if they ever said, hey, I want to go, I would let them. How would you feel if your kids were like, hey, mom, I'd like to compete? My daughter actually has said to me, when I'm 18, I want to be a competitor. And she actually knows all my poses better than me. It's really cute. She's like, mom, you're doing that wrong. Let me show you she how does. to. Let me show you how to sea arch for your butt. It's really funny, but if she if she wanted to, I would. I think I'd let her. Yeah. 
I what about what about dad shaking his head? <laughs> Apparently she's chained up until she's thirty, so she's not going anywhere. Maybe not when she's eighteen, but when she's older, I would I would be right there coaching her and helping her. That'd so. be kind of fun to pass on the. Uh, Absolutely. Who knows? By the time she's old enough to compete, there'll probably be something else crazier and yeah. more interesting. Than she could be into worse things. So. Exactly. This is a good bad habit to have. Exactly. So and you're fairly covered. So that. He's like, no. He's like, that's not happening. So, like, is this your suit? <laughs> I think they missed half of it. There's only, this just seems to be like two threads. Exactly. Um, well, anyone else you want to give a shout out to or thank you to for helping you along the way? Um, Bonnie, she makes my suits and she does an amazing job. Platinum Designs, um, I her suits are amazing and I couldn't do this without her. So for sure, Bonnie. Um, so tonight we find out your fate, mm -hmm. um, whether or not you get to really celebrate tonight. Yes. Um, have we kind of planned dinner for after the show? Is there kind I, of a... I can't even decide what I want. I don't know. I'm not craving anything in particular, so we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> just just a rice cake and some peanut butter then. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> He's like, well, I'm starving, so we're, we're going. To, I don't yeah, care if you come or not. I'm he going. He had his Rothis burger or whatever it was, so I don't know. Did you go to Pramani's? Have you been to Peppy's? Okay. I know the Roethlisberger is pretty, it's, it's the well-known. And then you got Pramani Brothers down the street, which is pretty well-known. It was on Man vs. Food, so you yeah, might Yeah, what do you guys recommend? Check it out. I, I, like I said, the Pramani Brothers, but it's a sandwich shop. They're open 24 hours a day, so that's okay. pretty good. Um, I'm not from around here, so oh, okay. I, uh, I'm, I'm kind of uh, trying to take in the local fare myself. So. See, I don't know where to go. But I'm fat, so I don't have to worry about my macros at all. I just I count them all as I go in. <laughs> and it's a lot. Keep them coming. Yeah, I have two kids at home myself, so Pop-Tarts and ice cream. Perfect. Yeah, so. That sounds good. Uh, actually, ice cream sounds great. See, there you go. Ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Done. And then she'll be in bed by like 1030. She'll be passed out when the <laughs> insulin hits. <clears throat> Perfect. Well, you look great. Uh, you. Best of luck to you. Thanks for coming up and stopping and, and, and saying hi to us. And uh, we'll let you get out of here. I'm sure you have better things to do than talk to us uh, weirdos in the room. So <laughs> anyways, until then, uh, we'll find out how your fate goes tonight in a couple of hours here, hopefully, if they finish prejudging. And uh, until then, uh, this is Eric Posable with Body Morph Pros, and we'll catch you guys at the next show. Thank you so much. Appreciate it.